On November 25th, Prime Minister and Minister responsible for national security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the National Insurance Property Development and Management Company, NEPRO, to undertake needed rehabilitation works on the VA4 police station. The VA4 police station has been left in a state of disrepair for more than four years. Prime Minister Pierre's timely intervention will finally end years of inconveniences and disruptions to police administration in V4 and also ensures police officers and law enforcement officials attached to the V4 police station occupy suitable facilities for improved service delivery in the island's south. But as they say, the longest day has an end and the both the Grosili Police Headquarters and the Viewfort repairs to the Viewfort Station is going to happen and it's happening simultaneously. This is just the beginning. This year, and in speaking to the police high command, I've said to them that in spite the fiscal realities, this year is going to be the year for national security. We're going to use the resources we can afford to continue for continuous improvement in the resources, in the capabilities of the St. Lucia Police Force and the ancillary services, fire service, etc. Member of Parliament for V4 South and former Prime Minister, Honorable Dr. Kenny D. Anthony, laid the groundwork for the reconstruction of the Northern Divisional Police Headquarters before demuting office in 2016. Dr. Anthony lauded his former deputy for advancing rehabilitation plans for the V4 police station. Let me um, say briefly that I applaud the Prime Minister and um, his officials for carving out this agreement with NIPRO and for doing so within a reasonable period of time. It may have appeared that a year was a long time in this business after you've been out for so long. But it takes time to arrange, to make the necessary financial arrangements and um, time to get the, the costings, etc., right to ensure that the right amount of money is allocated. But the, fun, the point is, a solution was found. And uh, the years of complaining in Parliament that I don't see any allocation or if an allocation was made that it was never spent, I think it's good to know that that is now in the past and we can look to to the future. You do have a Prime Minister who is very conscious of the police. The acting police commissioner welcomed the long-delayed rehabilitation project. The Vivot police station have been out of, well, of course, our officers have been out of this station for more than four years. And today, we are quite happy to be here to witness the sign-in for the renovation of the police station. The police officers have been operating in other facilities, which is not the best for them to operate in as it relates to the challenges we face when it comes to crime fighting. We have a very challenging task, especially as we see what happens today, although it is not unique to St. Lucia, but it's a task that we face and we need to give the officers, we need to have all it takes to enable us to fight crime in this country and to make St. Lucia a better and safer place for our citizens and visitors. So today I'm rather grateful, sir, and I'm rather thankful to be here to witness the signing of this ceremony. And the presence of, of my senior officers today, the guard officers, the other ranks, our admin officer, is testimony on how much we are looking forward to a change of venue to give the people of St. Lucia the service that they need as it relates to crime fighting and making St. Lucia a better place. NEPRO officials estimate the duration of the rehabilitation works should be completed in under 12 months. The PA administration has allocated approximately $3.5 million towards the project. Less than two months ago, on September 30th, Prime Minister Pierre signed a built own lease transfer agreement with NEPRO to commence construction of a new Northern Divisional Police Headquarters in Rosalie. The total value of that project is estimated at $35 million. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.